OK, so we've set up our general arrangement viewport there at a scale of 1 to 50. That's great, but what happens if somebody in the A3 landscape layout double clicks inside that viewport by accident and then zooms up and down on the mouse like that? That has completely messed up that scale. It's not at 1 to 50 anymore. It's not at a recognized scale. So how do I fix that? And more importantly, how do I make sure that my viewport scales are not affected by people accidentally clicking inside a viewport and making it live? Well, the first thing I need to do is rectify my viewport scale. Well, that's easy. We've already looked at that. So we go down to the status bar here, click on the arrow, select 1 to 50 again. We then hold down the mouse wheel only. We do not roll up and down. And we pan until our building line is back central and in the appropriate place. So we know that that's at 1 to 50 and the building line, the green building line, is in the right place in the viewport. What I'm now going to do is double click outside the viewport to deactivate it. And what I'm going to do is select the viewport like an object, which it is anyway, and then I'm going to right click and on the shortcut menu I'm going to go down near the bottom here and select properties. That will bring up the properties palette. It tells me it's a viewport, as you can see there, viewport only. It's only got one object selected, which is the viewport. Now, if I look down here under miscellaneous, I've got this display locked option, which says no at the moment. It's got my scales, 1 to 50, 1 to 50, and 0 0.02. Now, the reason the custom scale is showing as 0 0.02 is a scale of 1 to 50 is 1 divided by 50. It's a ratio of 1 to 50. So one unit in the Layout tab here represents 50 units in the Model tab. That's why we use Viewport Scaling, to get large objects through the viewports and plotted into Layout tabs. So it's all at 1 to 50, which is good. That's the scale we want it to be at. But if I click on No here for Display Locked, click on the down arrow and select Yes, what that will do is it will actually lock off that particular viewport at 1 to 50. So if I now close the Properties palette and just hit Escape now to deactivate that viewport, it is now locked at 1 to 50. How do I know that? Well, it's very easy. I double click by mistake inside the viewport. And now you'd think if I roll up and down on the wheel mouse, it would affect the viewport scale. Wrong. It will not affect it because the display is locked, even though the viewport is live. So I'm actually zooming in and out on the actual drawing itself, you'll notice. If I actually double click outside of the viewport, like so, you'll see that obviously it looks normal. If I double click inside and I pan by mistake, it pans the whole drawing, even with a live viewport. Again, I double click outside the viewport to deactivate it. Now, how do I unlock a viewport to perhaps change a scale because I need to amend my drawing? I select the viewport again, but this time, don't go to Properties, just right click. You've also got another option here, Display Locked. And you can actually say No. That means the display is now not locked. If I double click inside the viewport now and pan only so I don't affect the scale, you can see that I'm now working in the live viewport again. I'll reposition that where I want it to go, double click outside the viewport, click on the viewport that is inactive, right click, display locked and say yes, and now that is locked at 1 to 50 again. So as you can see, it's a simple tool, but it saves a lot of aggravation in the long run. Lock your viewports once they are scaled.